Hi, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Krista, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's problem as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from lesson nine of the physics two module. Be sure to pause the video, try the problem out for yourself before listening to my explanation. Radioactive decay is a first order process. For first order processes, the half-life is constant throughout the entire decay. This means that the half-life of technetium-99 is constant. In order for us to figure out the fraction remaining after a certain number of half-lives, the equation is fraction remaining equals one half raised to the n power, and n is referring to the number of half-lives. So referring back to the question, the half-life of technetium-99 is six hours. How much of the, how, what fraction is remaining after 18 hours? Well, after 18 hours, that would mean that three half-lives are passed. So entering that into the equation, we're gonna have fraction remaining equals one half raised to the third power since three half-lives have passed. Multiplying that out, that is going to give us a fraction remaining of 1 over 8. 1 over 8 equals 0 0.125. And to figure out the percentage, we're going to multiply that by 100, giving us 12.5%, or answer choice A. Thus, after 18 hours, 12.5% of the original sample of technetium-99 is still around. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, give us a follow and go check out MCATSelfPrep.com for more tips, tricks, and resources on how to ace your MCAT.